Word, NLE. When you get into video editing, the first term you get hit in the face with is NLE. If you search for what NLE is, you get this nonsense. NLE. A nonlinear editing system, NLE is a video, NLVE or audio editing, NLAE, digital audio workstation, DAW system that performs non-destructive editing on source material. The name is in contrast to 20th century methods of linear video editing and film editing. Seriously, do people get that definitions are supposed to help the person who doesn't know what it means to know what it means? Okay. It used to be that video or film was shot, then turned into a reel of film with all the pictures on it, one after the other. Editors would literally slice and cut out the unneeded or unwanted parts and glue the film back together until they had a whole film. This in essence was editing and it was edited frame by frame, one after the other. It was done in a linear or straight line fashion. Many people think that NLE or non-linear editing means it's not done in a straight line one frame after the other, like linear editing. Although this is true to some degree, non-linear editing actually refers to it being non-destructive editing. They took the term linear editing, which is destructive editing, and added non to it, meaning non-destructive editing. In other words, you're not slicing up the source material, the film or video, which is destructive. In nonlinear editing, think of it as non-destructive editing. You are editing the recorded film or audio without changing it in any way. The software you use to edit a video is an NLE, nonlinear editor, which means it's a non-destructive editor. This leads us into a common misconception amongst people new to video editing. Let's open this word processing document, chop out this middle text and save it. Now let's open it again. Yep, the text we chopped out is gone forever. This is how most every program you use on your computer works. Let's take a look at this short video. Now I add this video into my NLE, my nonlinear or non-destructive editor. Let's chop the middle part out of this video and save it. But let's take a look at the original video we placed in our editor and notice nothing was done to it. It's non-destructive. In other words, the original video was not altered or changed in any way. Here's an audio snippet. Let's drag that into our NLE, cut a piece out the middle and save it. We open the original audio file and notice again it was not altered in any way. Again, this is non-destructive or non-linear editing. One reason for doing it this way is it's very, very fast. The video editor keeps track of where to start playing the video or audio to the first cut, then jumps instantaneously to the second part and continues playing that. If the software had to manipulate these files and actually chop out all the video and audio cuts, things would get quite slow and messy. The benefit is you can always be assured you aren't doing anything to your original video and audio files, which is pretty great. Imagine cutting a film reel and going, oops. In your video editor, you can cut, move, dice, and slice your video and audio files to infinity and beyond, always safe knowing your original files remain untouched. This also comes with what might be considered a downside, and that is when you open your video or audio project, the editor will look for all these original video and audio files as it only keeps track of the editing things you've done such as the cut points and uses these original files to show them to you. That means if you move your video editing project to another computer, you'll also have to move all the video and audio files along with it or the video editor won't know what to do. It takes some getting used to in the beginning, but many of the editing software programs will let you know when it can't find these files and help you locate them. I have found many beginners trip up on this point and waste an incredible number of hours afraid of editing their videos until the light bulb goes off, that they are doing nothing to their original precious footage. When you hear or see the term NLE, it simply means that it is a non-destructive editor and doesn't mess with your original files when you are editing. My favorite NLE, it's Premiere Pro, which integrates with all of Adobe products, including Photoshop, After Effects, Audition, and many others. 
Let me know what your favorite NLE is in the comments below. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. You can slice, dice, cut, nuclearize, blow up, uh, tear it apart, smash it into a million pieces, and...